Measles is a disease that some felt that was eradicated here in the United States. It has made a comeback. So what can you do to keep yourself safe? A lot of people say, go get vaccinated. We're gonna be talking about the importance of vaccines, how to protect yourself, and this recent outbreak, all with our guest today, Dr. Tim Jones, the state epidemiologist. We're so glad to have you here. Thank you, it's good to be here. You know, the CDC said in 2000, measles, no longer an issue. Now we've seen, you know, the recent outbreak of it. What happened here? What's your take? Well, yeah, in, in the year 2000, uh, the United States you know, declared that measles was basically eliminated, no longer being transmitted yes. here. Um, unfortunately, it still remained and remains pretty common throughout the rest of the world. So as long as it's anywhere, you know, we, we know that cases will be imported occasionally from travelers and things like that. Um, you know, unfortunately, there are still about 20 million cases a year uh, around the world and you know, 400 children continue to die every day from measles in other parts of the world. So it's inevitable that we will have the occasional case come here. But we were down to having less than 40 cases uh, in the year 2004, all in travelers. And last year we were up to having more than 600. Wow. So it's unfortunately going the wrong direction. Sure. Now we know a lot of folks have probably watched news coverage of the recent outbreak that we were talking about in the very beginning of this program. Um, somewhat originated in California. They mm -hmm. talked a lot about Disneyland and um, you know that the fact that it spread then to different kind of mm -hmm. states. And as you mentioned, people travel. Were any Tennesseans affected? Uh, I'm very happy to say no. Uh, with that particular outbreak, uh, we don't have any Tennesseans um, involved and we have not had any cases so far this year, so we're counting our blessings. Yes. But there's still a lot of things that can be learned from that outbreak. And let's learn a little bit about measles in general, because for folks who don't know necessarily what the symptoms are mm -hmm. and, and how it's diagnosed, can you kind of go over that information, please? Uh, measles, it's a, it's a viral infection, so there are not antibiotics, uh, and it's something that can be essentially completely prevented by vaccine. Um, it's a rash illness, so, uh, and it's one that's very, very easy to, to spread. Uh, it's one of the most easily spread diseases that we know of. Uh, if a person gets it, the expectation is that nine out of 10 people that have close contact with them, if they're not vaccinated, will get it. Wow. Uh, which is, that's about as high as it gets in our business. Um, it generally, you know, starts out kind of looking like the flu. Uh, fever, runny eyes, runny nose, cough. And then after about four days or so, you start with a rash, generally in the head and face, and it travels down to the body and eventually down to the legs. Um, and generally the rash starts about two weeks after someone was exposed to the person who had the disease. Oh, okay. Um, one of the, the problems is that people can spread the disease a few days before they have the rash and a few days after they have the rash. So, you know, people can still be walking around in the community about to get a rash, not even know that they are infectious and still spread it. Wow. Um, and one of the other scary things about it is that it, it lingers in the air and the environment. So you basically get it from droplets, being around someone who's coughing, sneezing, uh, touching their hands and shaking your hand but it can also sort of stay in the air for about two hours after the person leaves. So if someone has sneezed in this room and we go out and the next person comes in an hour, they can actually even get measles from that. Wow. Uh, those are all reasons that vaccination is critically important. Yeah, so when you're traveling by plane, obviously that's probably how the cases, you know, Absolutely. kind of happened here. When we yes. were talking about, then all of a sudden different kids showed up in different states with right. it as well. Um, since, I, I know that you mentioned, uh, Dr. Jones, that no one here in Tennessee um, had any issues from this recent outbreak, but since 2000, from the time that, you know, it was considered eradicated, no longer, uh, you know, pertinent here, how many cases have been in Tennessee that you know of? So uh, we're lucky that we have very few cases. We have less than one a year. Wow. So we'll have a case and none for a couple years. Um, about, uh, let's see, last year, actually about a year and a half ago, we had our own little outbreak. So this is one that was not associated with Disneyland. Okay. Uh, it was 
uh, brought in by a traveler from uh, another country in, in a country where they have a lot of outbreaks. Okay. And it spread, it's, we ended up with a total of four cases. Uh, but we re reacted very aggressively and were able to contain it um, and you know, didn't, it basically burned out. We didn't, haven't had any cases since. Can you explain that too a little bit? That interests me when you talk about being able to contain something like, how do you do that? I well, mean, that, that's, a, that's a task. Yeah, and, and that's really one of our primary jobs in public health. For any disease like this, when we first detect it, our immediate job is identifying all of the people that have been around that person with the disease or the case knowing, and so we interview them, we say, who have you spent time with? Who have you been in a bus with? Who have you been on a plane with? Who do you live with? Interacted in general, yeah. yes. And, okay. and especially with a disease like this. Sure. As fast as we can, we contact those people. And in the case of measles, uh, we either get proof that they've been vaccinated, in which case we know they're safe, or vaccinate them. And actually for measles, if we can get a vaccine into someone uh, within 72 hours, of that quick them having been exposed. So we got that tight window. That's why we move fast. But if we can get that vaccine into them quickly, it actually protects them. Great. All right, let's talk about then more specifically, what percentage of Tennesseans are immunized against measles? Mm -hmm. We actually have a really good record in Tennessee compared to many other places. Uh, we're right up there at the top. We have you know, over 98% of children that are in the school system that have been vaccinated. All right, I know that, uh, you know, as the state epidemiologist, you probably cringe when you hear people don't want that immunization. Explain to folks in so many words the importance of something like this and, and being immunized in general for diseases like this that are so highly contagious. I mean, I completely understand that there's, you know, sort of the, uh, the idea of vaccines can be mysterious, a little bit threatening, and particularly since there's a lot of mis misinformation on the internet. Uh, but Vaccines are the most successful public health intervention that we have ever had in this country. Measles is incredibly safe, um, very few side effects. It's incredibly uh, effective. And as are almost all of our vaccines, I mean, one of the reasons that people get afraid of it is we've never seen the diseases. They've mm -hmm. been so successful that we've never seen the awful consequences of the disease, so a one in a million chance you know, of, of a mild side effect scares us more. But if you talk to people in the generation before me who've seen people, yes, you know, die from, from measles yes. and polio and those awful diseases, they would never in a million years refuse those vaccines. And let me ask you quickly, some, I mean, all school children are not even allowed in school until they get certain vaccines, is that correct? That, that is correct. Uh, in Tennessee, you're allowed to enter school if your uh, parent, has a religious objection to getting them and okay. testifies to that. But luckily, over 97, 98% of folks here go ahead and get it. All right, Dr. Tim Jones talking about measles and vaccines, the importance of both. Thank you so much for your time today. Thank